Hello. Yes, you're requesting a plant video. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> What's up guys? It's me, Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. Back at it again. Today we are gonna be doing a plant video. You guys know if you follow me on social media, I love plants. I am by no means an expert, but I did get a lot of requests to do this video. So here we are. I'm gonna give you a tour of all my plants, tell you where I got them, how easy they are to maintain, flash how hard. And at the end, we are going to propagate a new plant that I actually have had sitting in water. It's grown a bunch of roots. They are ready to be put into soil and grow into a new plant. Actually, the dog bit off one of the vines. So I was like, I might as well try propagating. I've been putting it off so long. So yes, behind me here, we have a couple plants on this wall. This one here is probably one of my favorites. I have two and two different color variations. This is a prayer plant. So, so the prayer plant here, this is, like I said, one of my favorite plants. It's pretty easy to take care of. It's been sprouting new leaves like all the time. See here, they come out like this and then they unroll. There's one there, one there. This is a new one that just just unrolled as you can see they're so pretty you can see the singeing here from the sun being too direct i love this plant so for the prayer plant my other favorite thing about it is it's called the prayer plant at night the leaves as you can see now they're flat out and at night they all raise up straight so the entire plant all the leaves will be facing towards the ceiling which is just amazing to me and i love how fast it puts out new leaves because that'd be giving me the good chemicals in my brain so i love this one i got this plant at the prayer plant at mickey hagarty plants in los angeles on fountain app i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because i just be loving it it's great here we have this is my swiss cheese plant even though i don't like cheese so this one is the Monstera Deliciosa, it's a botanical name. It's hard for me to remember all the botanical names, but I have my little plant app, which is my life hack. And it basically, you just like take pictures of any of your plants and it tells you what the plant is, the botanical name, like how to take care of it, if there's anything wrong with your plant. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just use this app for my plants. It's called Picture This. So you can just take a photo of the plant, which I just did, and it tells you the name. So she's plant a species of Monstera. Botanical name. Monstera deliciosa. It tells you if it's poisonous or not, which is really useful for me with my animals because some of the plants I have to put them up higher depending on if they're poisonous because the dog and the cats will kind of eat them. This one I got actually at Whole Foods in Malibu which I get a lot of plants at Whole Foods and like random places. So this one is from Whole Foods, but I prefer other species of the Monsteras. I'm gonna rate the Swiss cheese plant six out of 10. Then we have, here we have my little skylight. We got the zebra plant, super chill. This is a golden pothos. The golden pothos I like because they're super easy to take care of and they grow super fast. I actually have another one of these downstairs that I'll be showing you that's up higher and has grown down. This one hasn't really grown down much just because of the fact that it was constricted up there. So that's the golden Pothos. I give Golden Pothos an 8 out of 10 because they're super easy. This one's from Home Depot and it came in this little drainage container and it was like $10, so I like it. This is my baby fiddle leaf fig. The dog actually, I had it down in the kitchen and it was thriving there with the like environment as far as the temperature and the lighting, it was doing really well, but the dog was chewing on the leaves and chewed off some of them and that made me really sad. Dog ate it. So it's sprouting here, new leaf, and then here, cute. I love this plant. What I love a lot about fiddle leaf fig is that it grows so large and like, it looks fake. These leaves look really waxy. And fiddle leaf fig, also from Whole Foods, it was $35. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 also. And then we have here, this is my Chinese evergreen. This one is really just so cool looking. I like, it's grown some leaves. And I also like how it goes with the wallpaper. And this is one of my newer ones, but I just, it's like a mini, like it almost looks like a mini tree. I like it, seven out of 10. My aloe vera plants. I have two of these. These I got from Home Depot. I think they were like $7 each. And they, they started off being like, this big and now they've grown. They don't like too much direct sunlight and you gotta just keep them watered and they get thick. You could cut it off, use it on your face. It says this is a corn plant, but I have a corn plant, which I'll show you later. It looks different. So I'm not sure if it is a corn plant or not. Uh, I guess it is. Four stalks and this one actually has been the same size since I've got it. I've had it for like six months 
and it hasn't really grown. It's, I see a new leaf sprouting here, but it grows very, very slowly. But it's a nice decoration and looks like a cool tree. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Next, we have this little baby succulent in a crystal. I actually don't know what this is, let's take a picture. This is a stone crop, a tree, a ninium. Aeonium arboreum. Aeonium arboreum. This thing that it came in, this is pyrite, which is fool's gold. Next, we have here, this is another monstera plant. So this is a variation of the Swiss cheese plant. Obviously the leaves are different. Some of them don't have any holes and the top ones have holes, the bottom ones don't. The top ones have holes to let light through to the bottom ones. This is a plant that also likes to attach to trees and climb up them. As it goes up, the leaves are bigger. Well, I'm gonna give the Monstera one, this one an eight out of 10, because this one does sprout new leaves often and I just love how waxy and beautiful the leaves look. Like this is just the perfect, beautiful chef's kiss. Here we have, this one's a widow's thrill and I don't really like this one. This widow's thrill, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the name. I don't like how it looks furry. I don't like how the leaves fall off. I just don't like it. I don't. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But, you just but whatever, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10 because it'd be giving me oxygen and shit, so. All right, moving on. I'm embarrassed about these ones, but I'm gonna show you anyways because I have some explaining to do. These are my flowerless orchids. I have two of them and they had flowers on them, but it gets really hot in this bathroom because the AC for some reason just like turns off by itself. So these orchids don't do good in really hot environment, I guess, or maybe I'm just really bad at orchids. This here is my Lucky Bamboo. This one, I think I actually also got at Whole Foods. It's actually not a bamboo plant, it's just called that. But yeah, it's cool, it grows like new little leaves. It's just kind of like cool decoration. All right, we have now left my bedroom. So we're gonna see the rest of the plants all over the house. These I had hanging at my old house. These are the Hartley Philonendrum. As you can see, the leaves are much bigger from the top and as they go down, they get much smaller. This is actually the vine where um, the dog tore it off and I propagated it. And it's growing a new little baby, a new little baby thing out of where it broke off. And these ones, they just grow down. So I like these from the ceiling or on a top shelf. I think they do best hanging, to be honest. But you could also have them grow up and the leaves will get bigger. These ones are pretty good. They're not too hard. I don't know, it just gives a cool vibe. I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. I like the, the colors change on the leaves. So eight out of 10. Next we have this my snake plant. This one is pretty much impossible to kill. So it's good if you're not experienced with plants. I'm not, I've had this one since Christmas and it's just now growing a few baby leaves inside, which I've noticed, but these are all new and it hadn't, I guess it likes it here, but it's my snake plant. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because I like when the new leaves grow quickly. Another golden pothos. I just have growing down. This one used to be hanging at my old house. Uh, the pothos I got at Home Depot. And then the snake plant was a gift. The philodendrons also from Home Depot. So this is a spider plant. It's just been chilling. Honestly, when I got it, it had some brown spots on it and stuff, but it's been doing great right here on the shelf. So pothos from Home Depot. Out of 10, I think gave that one. And then spider plant. I don't see much growth. Give it a seven out of 10. And then here we have another prayer plant, but this one is a different color. And I forgot about it for like for like two or three weeks because I put it up the high shelf and I couldn't see it and I just forgot. I felt bad, but it's doing better now. And again, this one is now sprouting a lot of new little, all these little new leaves and it's doing well here. I put it on this wall. And then we have another Swiss cheese plant. This one is like struggling. The dog and the cats were eating it and it was just going through it. I don't know if the this one was gonna make it, but it looks like it's thriving now that it's over here. And here we have an arrangement. It's a succulent arrangement. It has a zebra plant. I don't know what this one is. Let me look. <laughs> so basically you just go like this and then chocolate soldier willow thrill. Makes sense why furry stuff. I don't really like it that, but um, this is, yeah, a chocolate soldier. 
And it's a species of the one upstairs in the room that I don't like. And then the little zebra plant. And then we have a string of pearls here. This one was also dying when I got here, but I brought it back to life. And now we have a long string of pearls. Then another one of these. So we've now entered the living room. Here I have my arrowhead plant. I also forgot about this one. I got this one at Whole Foods and then I put it here. I forgot about it for like a couple weeks and it was almost didn't make it. But now that it's coming back, it's like sprouting new leaves. Look at this one like seven out of 10. This is my dumb cane plant. This actually is poisonous to animals. So we have it away from the dog who's over there. Waxy looking, sprouts out new ones like this. It's pretty easy to take care of. Does well here. Eight out of 10, I'd be liking this plant. Here we have more string of pearls. And so yeah, we've gotten some length. Look at how long that is. I'm waiting till they grow all the way down to the floor. I give this a six out of 10, cause I don't know, it's cool, it looks like hair. Now for one of my favorites, polka dot plant. And I just have never seen anything so cool in my life. This one, this one has just kind of the pink and green leaves. This one has white and green as well as pink and green mixed together. These are from the farmer's market. Sila got these for me. We have my basil plant that I have by the sink. Just use it to cook with. And then we have two more. Well, actually three. We're almost done and then we can propagate. Oh, and I meant to say I give those 10 out of 10 because they're my favorite. All right, now we have, this is my corn plant. I got this also at Mickey Hagardi's nursery. This one was also a clearance one. Fine, I'll just be chilling in my office. All right, so time to propagate the pothos. Here we have, this is my cool little propagating station thing. And I put my pothos in here, honestly. They've been in here for quite a while. As you can see, the roots are growing, some of them. This one's touching the bottom. These ones are a little bit shorter, but they've been in here. You only have to leave them in here for about two weeks or so. I noticed the roots started growing after a week and I actually didn't use any rooting hormone because I didn't have it at the time that this happened. And I just have my pot here filled with a loamy soil, fertilizer and everything in it and it has draining holes at the bottom and this detaches and the water can drain out. Again, I'm not an expert. I just watched some YouTube videos and read some stuff about this. So we're gonna just transplant. We have five of them. So this is kind of a big pot for it, but I think it will grow pretty well just because these ones do grow fast. This is actually the philonendrum, not the pothos, sorry. So this is the philonendrum, the Hartley philonendrum, the ones that I had the two on the shelf. So yes, we are going to plant it in this soil. I've been waiting to do this for so long, guys. So I'm just gonna take them out and dig little holes and just place them down all the way. One in, I'm so excited, guys. So I'm just gonna space them evenly around the edge of the pot, making sure that the roots are completely covered from the sun. And you can wear gardening gloves. I personally don't mind touching the soil. And my nails are already ratchet, so. Depending on where you're, how you're gonna have this plant exist. You can do it all kind of towards one side. If you're gonna have it up against the wall or if you're gonna have it hanging, I would do it evenly distributed around. All right, done it. All right, I have my five cuttings there. All the roots are completely covered. Now we're just going to water it fully and let it all drain out, so. And you wanna make sure that the soil's really, really wet because they're used to living in water right now. So I'm gonna literally let it get so wet and drain through completely soaked. All right, as you can see now, it is draining through. Let it drain all the way through and then place it where these things thrive, where it has sunlight. Okay, you guys have it. I hope you like this video. I'm obsessed with plants. Again, I'm not an expert, so sorry if I didn't say the right thing. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope that you get some plants for your house because they definitely just help your mental health and they give you oxygen. And NASA suggests you should have one house plant per 100 square feet in your house. I still have some work to do there, but I get a lot of uh, satisfaction from gardening and watching things grow. I hope you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Comment your suggestions down below. CJ out.